I'm Dr. Suzanne Steinbaum. I'm the director of Women's Heart Health at Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City. For many years, I've been spokesperson for Go Red for Women through the American Heart Association, speaking to people across the country about risk factors for heart disease. And throughout this time, I was able to address the major risk factors, high blood pressure, high cholesterol, diabetes, sedentary lifestyle, family history, and smoking. But it's been until very recently that we've understood the impact of stress. Living with that fight or flight response that increases epinephrine, norepinephrine, and cholesterol, these are hormones that flow throughout our bodies during that stress response. It increases blood pressure, they increase cholesterol, and they increase inflammation. All of these things lead to high blood pressure, lead to plaque in the arteries, and that in turn, is what leads to heart disease. When I prescribe a statin that can lower cholesterol, I'm happy when I get efficacy of treatment at about 30%. But now I know when I treat stress, I can get as much as a 48 to 66% improvement with TM. The American Heart Association made a scientific statement that transcendental meditation was the only form of stress management and meditation to reduce blood pressure. It is the most efficacious way for us to treat one of the major risk factors of heart disease, which is stress. There have been 350 studies and $28 million put towards the research of transcendental meditation Studies have shown that it not only decreases blood pressure, but it helps people who have heart disease function better, live healthier lives. And it's actually been shown to reduce stroke, heart attacks, along with high blood pressure. It is a very effective treatment tool.